Sex addiction seems to combine these elements with more frequency and more intensity than any of the other activities. While looking at pornographic imagery, excitatory neurotransmitters are released into the synapse, causing the body to become extremely energized, just like the high of cocaine. It gave me a, like a, an adrenaline rush, like I was doing speed or something. It feels like this incredible charge of life flowing through my veins. It's like getting a rush in the arm of adrenaline. At the height of this energized state, orgasm occurs, causing the release of endorphins, which create relaxation and euphoria. So right there in the pornographic experience, we have a synthesis of arousal, relaxation, and fantasy, unparalleled in any of the other addictions. We now understand that the pornography experience can trigger natural neurochemicals in the brain just as powerfully or perhaps even more powerfully than the drug experience. Let's go back into the brain to see how a physical addiction to pornography can be created by the overstimulation of these neurochemicals. The brain has a built-in neurochemical feedback mechanism that works against dramatic mood alterations. As soon as a mood alteration takes place, the brain goes into action to stabilize the mood and restore baseline neurotransmission. Over time, as the user continues to indulge in the pornography experience, the brain reacts by producing less and deactivating more neurotransmitters. The delicate level of neurotransmission that produces a normal mood is now altered and has become dysfunctional. It's this dysfunctional level of neurotransmission that causes the uncomfortable symptoms of physical addiction, tolerance, dependence, and withdrawal. Because there are now less neurotransmitters in the system, it takes a harder, perhaps more violent form of pornography to achieve the same sexual arousal. Just like a drug addict needing a larger dose to get high, this is tolerance. Because the dysfunctional rate of neurotransmission is uncomfortable, the addict uses pornography to bring it to a normal level. He is dependent on it, just like an addict becomes dependent on a drug. If he tries to quit using pornography, he will experience actual physical discomfort. Again, just like a drug addict, this is withdrawal. Sex addicts also have a withdrawal experience. In other words, physically there is a withdrawal experience. Uh, it's different than, say, alcoholics who experience a withdrawal that happens in about three days. And it's very intense and then you dry out. It is much more like what happens with cocaine addicts. The withdrawal was very hard. Very, it came on very fast and it was very brutal. I experienced uh, withdrawal that I had never experienced from drugs or alcohol. When I stopped looking at pornography, it was hard. It was like a heroin addict trying to quit cold turkey. One of the things that occurs is they have extreme insomnia. If they really try to stop, their body then starts to re